Hi everybody, welcome to deepcreditors.com. In this video, we'll show you how to build logistic regressions in Python. Let's get started. In this video, we'll show you three things. First, we'll discuss default outcomes and probabilities of default. Probabilities of default are also known as PDs. Second, we will estimate logistic regression models for PDs. And third, we'll use the estimated logistic regression models to fit PDs. Let's get started. In our first step, we will import data and code. We use the command from DCR import star to import data and code that you have downloaded from the website deepcreditors.com. We then prepare the data using the data pack function, which is included in the DCR.py file. We execute the code by pressing shift enter. We then run some cosmetic code that optimizes the graphics in our presentation. We proceed in two steps. In the first step, we sort the dataset by ID and time, and in the second step, we extract the default indicator for bar number 9 and bar number 47. We see that the bar number 9 is observed from period 25 to 37 and defaults in the last period, which is indicated by a value of 1 for the default indicator. We also see that bar number 47 is observed in periods 25 to 27 and does not default during this time. We now move on to probabilities of default. Probabilities of default relate to discrete time periods. The probability of a default within this time period is PD, and the probability for a non-default in this time period is 1 minus PD. Probabilities of default are the expectation of the binary outcome indicator. We link probabilities of default to features that can be observed. Features include the liquidity of a borrower, the equity of a borrower, time and macroeconomic effects, and many other features. We'll now link the observed uh, default outcomes with observed features using logistic regressions. In practice, features are usually time lagged to ensure that they are observed at the beginning of the observation period for the default events. We will use package stats models, which we have assigned the acronym SMF. And within stats models, we will use the method GLM, which is an acronym for generalized linear models. In brackets, we specify the model equation, which includes the default outcome indicator on the left hand side and the features on the right hand side. We'll include a number of features, including the cumulative excess payment ratio as a proxy for liquidity, the equity ratio, the loan contract rate, the FICO score, and the GDP growth rate next to a number of other features. We further specify the link function through the statement family equals sm.families.binomial in brackets. As we have not included an argument in the brackets, we specify the logistic distribution function as the default link function for this model, which is the basis for the logistic regression model. We further specify the data set, data, and we chain the fitting method to fit and estimate the model. We then print a summary table of the logistic regression model and execute our code by pressing Shift Enter. In our output table, we see the number of observations that have been used in the regression model, which is 59,001. We then find the parameter estimates, including the intercept, the liquidity ratio, the equity ratio, the loan contract rate, the FICO score, and the GDP growth rate. A negative sign of the parameter, such as in the equity ratio indicates that a greater equity ratio implies a lower probability of default. We can further observe the p-value, which is a sign for the significance of the particular variable. The low p-value indicates a significance at a very low pressure level. We now fit the probabilities of default using the estimated regression model. The fitted values in sample, that is for the data that we have used to estimate the model, are included in the object fitted values of our model. 
We can transform these fitted values to a pandas data frame using pd.dataframe command and assigning to the PDs the variable name pd underscore logic score model. We then merge this data frame with the existing data set using the merge command by the index and we can describe the PDs using the describe method and rounding the numbers to three decimals. We execute the code passing shift enter. We then obtain a description of the empirical distribution of the default events and the estimated probabilities of default. We see the default rate over the sample period is 2.5% and we see that the mean of the estimated PDs is also 2.5%. This in-sample calibration is a property of logistic regressions we also see that the minimum PD estimated from the model is 0.001 and the maximum PD is 72.4%. This brings us to the end of the video. Many thanks for watching. We hope you had fun using deepcreditors.com and have a great day. Goodbye.